What's up everybody? Blue Gabe, welcome to Lake Okeechobee. And we're not out in the open water as you can see, we are in the jungle. We got Crystal Beachy, we got Jake Arrington, we got Luke Arrington, and we are today doing something I've never done before. If I was crappie fishing in the past with kids, I'd be out in the open fishing in the reeds and then the cattails and the dollar pads. Today, we are fishing in the jungle. Crystal's got one. We've already started. I let them all have a little warm up before we got going. Yesterday afternoon, me and Jake started tying some flies on our own to try to do it to where we don't have to buy so many. Crystal's got a 10 foot crappie stick in her hand and you just drop it down in this little teeny holes like that and you just wiggle it just nice and easy. I can't even pick it up one handed. Dang, that's a stud. Up and over the trees. Y'all, that's a big Golly, old. Holy, that's a slab. Big old biggin. Now you're probably wondering why we're using such long rods in such tight quarters. It's just how we got to do it here. Not always are the fish right next to the boat. Look how he's hooked. He wanted that jig. Luke, he stole our fish. He the the funny thing about fishing like this is. Look at him, out a boy. We taught him right. People will Get fish the all the way around the boat and then you'll go behind somebody and catch one. I'm gonna have to get some pliers for this one. I can't get it out. Big old, big one. Today's all about having fun, you guys. We're in our hometown. This is where Crystal lives. It's only 45 minutes from my house. This is what we do when we're not filming. But today I decided to film. You're gonna see all kinds of cool stuff. Some crappie, Crystal's house. She's actually got a camper that she's got for sale. And we're gonna do something pretty cool. If you do buy that camper, we're going to give you a free trip with her and I somewhere either on the ocean boat or out here on Lake Okeechobee. But we'll show you that later. Right now we're going to show you a bunch of fishing. We already got us five. Golly, it's another big one. Right nice. out of the same hole. Sorry, Luke. I didn't mean to steal that fish from you. You guys, I grew up with two older brothers. Crystal grew up with three older brothers, right? Yep. Were they ever easy on you? Nope. My brothers were never easy on me. Hey, it's dog eat dog on this boat today. I might catch them all, you never know. You have so far. What I've noticed with these crappie out here on the lake when we're doing this is you'll get one to bite and then a several, four or five will bite, but then after that they're just shut right back off. So you just move. We'll move a couple hundred times today. And this boat is perfect for this style of fishing. Yeah. We can get where every boat Every other boat can't. This ain't me and the boys' most proficient sport, though. Uh oh, Jake. Out of boy, Jake. That's a perfect example. I just fished that spot where Jake just caught that fish not two minutes ago. Nice job. You got him on the white jig. All right, there we go. Little one, but first one of the day. It's all about that first one. Once you figure out the bite. You've got it figured out. You just keep going doing the same thing. He nibbled at it a few times. Oh, I got, I thought it was got him. Get him, Luke, get him. Pick him up straight up. Straight up. Swing him in here. He's huge. Nice job, Swing Luke. him in here. Get, I'm not even going to help you. Get him right in the middle of the boat. Swing. Oh, back in the tree. Swing him. There you go. Nice Look job, Luke. Look at that big old big in. That's the third one out of that no, hole. No, Jake, we need to check yours. They got to be 10 inches. That's the third fish nothing. out of that hole. Yeah. Here, I got a gauge. You can turn him loose. So we're going to catch so many big ones today. Me? No, you keep yours. Jake was just a little bit small. You can lip them. I'm going to have a little fish flavor added to my shirt. Luke, you always have fish flavor added to your shirt. Grab him by the lip. You're going to have to force that jig out of his mouth. This crappie does not have teeth like all the saltwater fish. There, you go. there we go. I Dang, just hit Gabriel. Crystal with that jig. Let's show him what he caught it on. Now listen, you guys have seen me brag about my kids for a long, long time. I'm always proud of them and I'm always bragging on them. Show them that fish one more time. Last night, me and Jake had a crappie jigging tying contest and see who will catch the most fish. Whose is that one? Mine. I bet look you at, look he at, does. He is so aggravated right now because he, he's getting his butt stomped. He grabs... The, uh, he grabs the fur, not the fur, the hair he wants to put on it. He gets a lighter, he burns it, sticks it all together, 
and just ties it on. And when he gets the dubbing, he wraps it around there and just pours super glue on it. Okay. No matter how I tied it, whose jig is clearly catching the most? Ow! Hold on, hold on. Uh-oh, Crystal's hooked. Okay, we're clear. We got the fish, folks. We're just getting started. Now look how Luke has used this light bar to lean way out here. He's got to be real still and real patient at everything he does. Just drop it in that hole and lightly jig it. And that rod's 10 foot long, so it's not easy on his wrist. You'll get a bite. What are you hung up? On this one little branch. You think so on these rods, we're using 30 pound braid. You can really rip it out. So you can see right out there over my rod tip, that's the actual lake itself. We're in the lake, but we're on the edge of what they call King's Bar. Just right out there, 100 yards is the open water. Then there's some reeds, and then on the outside of that, it's straight open water for 31 miles to the other side. Lake Okeechobee is the second biggest lake in the country and the biggest lake in the southern, eastern, southeast part of the United States. Okeechobee means big water and Seminole. How, yep. much, how much miles is it? It's 31 miles across, I think, in its widest. Or 31 or 37 miles across at its widest. Wait, so this... You know what, Luke? So this pond is 37 miles long? Yep, it's not a pond, it's a lake. Um, Okeechobee is surrounded by a dike that surrounds its entire perimeter. And there's a walking or bicycling trail around the entire perimeter. I want to say it's like 50 something miles. It's you big. think that's right? I think it's over 60. I don't know. I'll have to look. Maybe me and Luke one day can go on a hike. Yeah, you can have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> Jake just said you two can have fun with that. I think we need to move over just right over there. All you got to do is move about 20 foot to fish new water. level at about eight and a half they've got to sneak those big huge rods in all these little holes and see if they can pull one out luke i want you to fish all this open water right over here by these trees all right i'm going in First fish, first hole, first fish. But for some reason, they are super small right now. This is probably a keeper, but I'm not gonna keep them. On Lake Okeechobee, they gotta be 10 inches. But this year we're catching really, really big ones. So there's no reason to keep these small ones. If I was frying them whole, we would keep the small ones, but we're gonna do us a flayed fish. Look at the same hole. Y'all saw it. We're gonna do fried flays tonight. This one's a little bit bigger. We'll keep him. Now watch, Luke's like a buzzard. He smells dead meat right now. He's thinking in his brain, how can I get to dad's spot? Get he up out of my spot. Me and said, get out of my way. Like, Luke right now is encroaching <laughs> on my spot. Luke, you know we're fishing. We're not sawing down trees, right? I'm making room to fish. Can you show everybody your two knives since you're a knife connoisseur? Oh, you forgot the small one. Oh, three knives? Press this button. Boys. If you're not holding this knife tight enough, whenever you press it, it'll just go flying out of your hands. You think that's a necessary knife for an eight-year-old? Probably. Looks like a good spot. Looks like a good spot. <laughs> we just came right through all this bad stuff. I'm telling you guys, if you ever want to get a good boat, dude, these pro drives are legit. This spot's probably about a level six of hardness. Jake, you need to reel up some of that line. Oh, Pull him out. Rip him out of there. That's a giant. Nice job, Goodness. Jake. What a ginormous male. Copy. 
Now these are black crappie. These aren't white crappie. The black ones though, when they are black, are males. That Look at that, Jake. Huge field. I knew I was gonna pull one out of that hole right on the edge. Look at my rod though. How did it get all the way over here? I smell like a bait shop. <laughs> you always smell like a bait shop, Luke. Yay! There you go. Right up out of the junk. These blacks, when they turn that color, that means they're in full spawn. And when you catch these, you can keep as many as you want because they're males. It's the big females that if you were worried about the population, you'd turn some of them loose. These, they're a dime a dozen. And some of the best eating fish you'll ever eat. Well, look who it is. You guys, I gotta show you something right here. If you follow along, you already know who this man is. That's Mr. Timmy Hampton. You see, that's why we have power poles. I just come up here like I own the joint. He's cheating though, folks. Look at this. Timmy. MVP, next best thing. This ain't even fishing. You're playing a video game over here. You got the pro drive though. You can go where I can. So this screen is hooked to his trolling motor. There's on the bottom of that trolling motor, there's a, what is it called? A transducer. transducer. A transducer. And you'll swing it around and he'll see the fish there. He knows where he's at, how far he is, how deep he is, and he'll just swing over there and set his jig there. We're gonna get us one of these soon. Oh, you got more screens over here. See, it's everything hooks to this one. And it's a direct see up there? Yeah. But this up here is That's just your monitoring system. Yeah, but it, it's touch screen too, so it's changing that back there. Now, you have such a big screen because you're getting old and you can't yeah, see a little screen? That's exactly right. You going to come over for our fish fry tonight? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Absolutely. I think we're going to run down and try to fish those mats. We just had to stop and say hi to Mr. Timmy Hampton. We're going to go keep trying to catch some fish, but we might fish some different styles. Something that's not as thick as those trees because they're just not in it right now. Nice. Told you. Nice. Oh, my goodness. Big old nice. <laughs> Crystal's doing the reach around. She's sticking out as far as she can. Luke's in the front. Jake switch for oh. oh there you go. Pull him over here, son. Pull him over here. It's a good one. Gotta rip him out. Got it. Nice one. In the jump. Just like that, Lukey. Sorry, but I stole your rod and your bait. See how I just dropped it in there? Just like that. Oh, there you go. Nice male. Good job, Crystal. Beachy. On the blue and white. Ooh, just fish slime all over y'all. Get him out, Ben! <laughs> there you go. Pass him over. That's a good one. Oh, yeah. There you go, Luke. Luke's on the board. Son, you're swinging him high. Oh. Y'all duck or bleed? Nice job, Luke. On the soft plastic jig. These things work. Two in a row, son. Swing him over here. Oh, crap. Now, he's too little. We got to throw him back, son. You, you just robbed the cradle with that one. Dang, Beachy's on the board again with a big old biggin. I mean, that is a big old biggin. Not as big as yours. Actually, I'm Jake's got the biggest one right now. Yep. What a dang giant, son. <laughs> Look at there him. There you go. He Smack is, your brother. Look at him. One. He's not even paying attention where he is. Luke, a boy. Watch out. Watch out. <laughs> ah, duck or bleed. We're over here putting all these fish on a stringer for the thumbnail and he's over there ripping lips. Luke, how about that? That's a big one. What do you have to say about that? That was a big one. Do it again. There's all kinds of little holes right there. Right there looks like a really good hole too. Y'all, don't ever go in there unless you have the proper boat. You can see this is what I was talking about earlier. This is the hard wall with all the trees. Then you got some reeds and out here you have some cattails. And then straight out there you have the open water. It's 30, probably 35 miles that away to Clewiston, Florida, which is the due south end of the lake. Right there is the due north end, which is the town of Okeechobee. We got about a five mile run back to the boat ramp.
Look at that. Folks, that's a stringer of fish. And there's still probably 10 more that aren't even on the stringer. Flip it over. It don't get no easier than that, folks. I mean, check that out. Watch yeah. how quick it is. Watch how quick it is. Now, I cleaned fish with Crystal's dad the other day, and he made sure that I was getting all the way down on that backbone. Leftovers. Oh, I will trust me, Luke. Luke's all excited about yeah, fishing. Right. Here, Crystal's dad, I'll introduce him in just a minute. He said, I need to come down there and make sure you're doing it all right. Now, we're not throwing this away. We're going to fry that too. You guys have never seen me use an electric knife on this channel. But with these crappie, it's so much easier. I used to do it when I was a kid a lot. When we would catch a couple hundred in a weekend but now we go we only catch 50 or 60 we don't really need it now the way mr titus does it he'll do it in an assembly line he'll flay them somebody else well he'll flay them and skin them and then somebody else will cut the rib bones out the other day i was cleaning one and i didn't get right down on the backbone and boy i got corrected quick <laughs> y'all this is mr beachy right here crystal's dad Look at that beautiful play. Mr. Titus, yes, sir. why ain't you over here cutting ribs out yet? Whoa. Look at, look at. Oh yeah, here's this. So this this was your Christmas present, wasn't it? I got that for you. Yeah, Mr. Christmas bought me that. So you see these blades, they go back and forth. You come in right behind her head, cut it down. This is where he corrected me. Get it down on that backbone. Oh, see, I'm trying to show y'all and I just messed up. Right on down it. Mr. Titus, don't look at that one. You left half the meat on there. Don't look at that one. All right, it'll be better right here. This electric knife will cut right through that backbone in a hurry. You can get it a rhythm. It makes a beautiful yeah. play, totally boneless. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Now, you see this right here? The water's coming in and creating a swirl. He throws the flays in there, all the guts and stuff will eventually come off anything that's left on the flay will come up and go overboard and wash right into the water it's like a hurricane you know where i got that where bird, Bucky's. Bucky's? <laughs> that bird right this is frank this is our buddy frank right over here come here frank let me get a piece of this scrap right here watch these little curlers They'll gobble up them scraps and all these birds fight None of them will cooperate with each other. Right in their mouth. He'll catch it. Throw it right in his mouth. That's a juvenile pelican. That's a, an adult. You chickened out. Dad, hand feed him. I will. Oh, he's got my hand. Ow. Jake, you'll be a regular old pro soon. Yeah. $5, the first pelican that catches it. He's the winner. I owe you five. Luke's over here cleaning him a fish, which isn't looking like it's turning out too good because you don't have a long enough knife. Y'all, you know you're doing things right in life when you got your girlfriend and your son cleaning the fish. Luke's over here cleaning one with his little, as he likes to call, shank. I'm ready to eat some fish. Oh, Titus has got the fryer going. Hey, we got some we got the oil heating up here. You gonna make us some hush puppies? We can. My, we can dad, huh? my dad can fry some fish. You know why they call them hush puppies? Yeah, you get feed them to the dog, keep the dog quiet while the fish are getting ready. <laughs> That's true. You're doing good, Lick. Just had a new species show up, a wood stork. Oh, and a seagull. They got all kinds of birds here now.
but it's officially time to eat. We've got all the fish clean. Luke's even got his clean. All we gotta do is wash them off and get them in the fryer. All right, so I'm gonna show you Crystal's camper that's for sale. I also have a side-by-side, -side, my blue side-by-side. -side, it's a Can-Am 2022, and I'm gonna sell that too. Why? Because we've came to a conclusion that we want a bigger camper, a camper that you can drive and we can pull our boat. What we also have came to a conclusion is we have too many toys. We have to sell something. Crystal is selling her Connect Spree with this beautiful outside kitchen. Check this out. It's got a sink, it's got a cooktop right here where you can have a picnic outside. Awesome refrigerator, some storage, some drawers. We're gonna keep on going. It's got three slide outs. It's a tongue hitch, so you don't need a goose hitch. Goose hitch, a gooseneck. <laughs> Look at this thing. We ought to keep it though and make the kids live in it. It's got an island. It sleeps 10 people. So it has a full bedroom in the front. And then that goes into a bed. This goes into a bed. And then there's, it's like a bunk house in the back. So you can fit. We could Three, put a bunch four, of people in here. in here. It's got a bathtub. You guys, I'm a bath taker. I love bathtubs, full bathroom sink, everything you need now she's asking twenty thousand dollars cash and she's not going to take less than that but whoever buys this is going to get a trip with crystal and i and the kids or maybe even just crystal and i depending on what we're doing we can either go out in the ocean on the 31 contender or we can go in lake okeechobee but we need to sell this so we can buy our dream camper because we have too much stuff her yard's full my yard's full if you want to see this camper i'm going to put a pinned comment in this video with her email You've got to email her, set it up to where she can come and show it to you. And if you buy it, you get the fishing trip. If it's already sold, if you're watching this video in a year or so and it's already sold, I'll have a pinned comment saying that it's sold, so no reason to email her. I think somebody's gonna get it and this will be their dream place. I'm gonna miss this thing. This camper will be perfect if you're building a new house and need to set, stay in something. It's perfect for a hunting camp. It's hunting perfect camp. for anything. Big TV, radio, and a beautiful bed. Check the pinned comment, look for her email. Hit her up. If you buy it, we will go on one heck of a fishing trip. And in a future video, I'm going to show you guys all about my Can-Am. It's for sale too. And if we sell them both, you guys, we're going to be buying a camper that we've always dreamed about. And we're going to go on some trips to show you guys all over this country. Places that we've dreamt of going and places that you guys might want to see. Now back to the hush puppies. Got some fish ready too. Look at that. Mmm. 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 Try something. Try one of them. Mm. Are they done enough? Oh man. I want one. Cook, cook enough. I want one. Jake said they were done. Here, you want one? Y'all. Oh, I'll take this. We haven't ate all day and we're starving. Let's see what Beachy's in here. What she's getting into. It ain't that clumpy. I this think is I the did first, good. This is the first time Crystal's ever made grits, folks. Hey, cousin Ross. He's laughing right now. Is it bad? No, it looks perfect. Let me see if I can show y'all a funny picture of Crystal. Look at her right here, looking like a little tomboy. Uh-huh. She's young in that picture right there. There's a paddlefish. There's her with her dad. That's her brother, Myron. I think that's her brother, Jesse. Look at Myron right there with no shirt on. That is classic right there. <laughs> hey, shout out to Myron Beachy. <laughs> he was young there. Still got the same belly though. <laughs> this is when we used Who's to Who's this? Catch. That's my grandpa. Your dad's That's dad? That's my dad's dad, yeah. He was the Mennonite? Yeah. He loved to come down here and crappie fish. Yep. Look at your dad with no We used to no have beard. to go to Home Depot and get those big, huge drum trash cans to fill them up. Look at that. There's Myron again. We would get our limit every Who's this right time. here? That's Uncle Mark. You fished with him before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They got some hogs. So here's some of her taxidermist work. This is her Grand Slam that we killed this year. That's her Osceola, her Rio, her Merriam, and her Eastern. And that's all four of the fans. A couple bucks. Where'd you kill this big buck? Those are both Kentucky bucks. Kentucky bucks. That's a black belly tree duck. Alligator. Obviously an alligator. Axis deer hide. Wood duck. Explain to them the alligator scoots. Oh yeah, the scoots right here. So when you 
kill a big alligator and you mount it, it's really hard for them to mount these scoots and it's not good for leather. So if you mount one and you want it all for leather, they'll cut the scoots out and this is what it looks like. You can hang it up for a trophy. Can't make boots or anything with that. Thank you to God for this day. Thank you for dying on the cross for our sins. Thank you for letting us be safe and have fun out catching these crappie. And please help us to be able to enjoy it and please help it to nourish our bodies while we eat this wonderful meal. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Good prayer. Amen. How come I don't ever say the prayer? You never have. I don't <laughs> think you have one time since we've been together. How about those hairlines? I've never heard Crystal say it. Yeah. I've never uh, heard <laughs> Dad can do it for me. Luke, come over here and y'all dig in. Try Crystal's cheese grits and you oh, better man. you better be nice too. Here. You better be nice. It is a little clumpy. It is a little it didn't clumpy. Look clumpy in Ross, the pot. you hear her say her grits are clumpy. Alright, let's try. The it. last time I made grits and they came out clumpy, Ross called me out so bad. He went oh. Oh, he went in for three bites. They're is good? it good? Oh yeah. Luke's killing it. <laughs> Give me some nuts, Luke. Is that <laughs> okay? Great. For those of y'all wondering who Cousin Ross is, that's my uh, cousin Ross who lives in Milton, Florida, his wife Frances. I talk to him every day pretty much and he's my biggest critic. If I say one thing wrong, I'm getting a text. You guys check out these flays though. Shout out to Titus Crystal's dad for making us amazing meal. Shout out to Blue Gabe for catching the most. <laughs> He did shout out. out for me eating the most. The only thing and the only kind of fish I eat ketchup on is crappie. For some reason, it tastes so good with ketchup. Yours, That's baby. yours. Ketchup on crappie is so good. Mm, those puppies are good. I can't even tell you how good that fish is. People talk about need Lake Okeechobee up. being polluted. That's the cleanest lake in the country. And the fish that live in it taste as good as anywhere in the world. Show them how good and clean that meat looks. Nice white flaky flakes. The little bit of coloration <laughs> that you see right there is the bloodline, but on a crappie you don't need to cut it out because no. it tastes so good. Crappie is delicious. I grew up calling it crappie in Kentucky. Down here they call them speckle perch or specks. Um, in Louisiana they call them sockeye, white perch. There's a bunch of different names, but we all know it's delicious. They taste good everywhere you eat them. I'm going in for another hush puppy. Big one. We're over here eating fish, fish and Luke's catching fish. Catfish. Nice job, Luke. You got him, son. You're not fished out already? Look at him. He's always standing on the edge. Don't break him off. That joker's big. Yeah. Look at that, Titus. Nice. Throw him in the fryer. Throw him right in the fryer, Luke. There you go. Good lay, job, Luke. Lay him What's up the there and I'll put him right in the grease. Stick your finger in his mouth and lip him like a bass. Yeah, he's going to bite me. He doesn't bite. Blue cats don't bite, don't, I promise. You don't bite hard enough to hurt him. Man. Yeah. Just hold on to him tight. Stick your finger in his mouth and lip him like a bass. Look how fat that joker is. Chunky men, catch another one. You guys, that was one heck of a fish fry, but I'm gonna do something on the end of this video that I don't normally do. We are gonna show you an entire gear rundown, and I'm gonna start with the boat first. So this is my 1850 Pro Drive. I've got outrigger lights. If you follow along, you've seen me use the lights a ton of times. The boat's still a little bit dirty just because we take it through the absolute junk, but Jake all morning long has been washing it. I've got some lamb deck on it. You can see right here, Pro Drive, shallow water outboards. This is a mud motor, it's air cooled. It doesn't need water sucked up from the lower unit like all my outboards do on the big boats. This is air cooled, it's just a normal lawnmower motor. That's all it is with some crazy doohickeys down here that run the lower unit. This one actually turns around, which you saw in the video earlier. It's a 40 horsepower motor. This boat is like the boat of our dreams. It's everything that Jake and I wanted. It's got a trolling motor on it, it's got Shallow water anchors made by power pole, which I wouldn't have any boat without it other than my contender just because it's too big. But any smaller boat, I highly recommend some power poles. They make my life so much easier. Then we got some rods. So these are the rods that you saw us use in the video. ACC crappie sticks. This one's actually broke down and somebody's deciding to drag race right now. This one's actually broke down to just show you how small it gets if you want to store it. This one's still intact. Hold it right there, Jake. That one's got a cork handle. This one's got a foam handle. You can see that's one of the jigs that we use. That one's actually all bent up. Here are some of the jigs that me and Jake made right here. Just We just tried different colors, a blue and white, a 
June bug and white, purple and white, and then all white with a black head. These you can just buy separately. You don't have to make them. This is one that we bought. That's our jigs. Thanks, Jake, for cleaning the boat. One thing I want to add at the very end, if you do want to go fish like I did on Lake Okeechobee and you don't have a pro drive, which is the only surface drive made with full power reverse, do not do it. If you have a gator tail or one of those other ones, you're going to get, end up getting hung up. If you have an outboard, don't do it. You're going to get hung up. I have some guides, which I'm going to put the, their name and the link in the description below. Both of them are amazing. If you want to go crappie fishing and you don't want to get hung up, Call Brad and Robbie. You'll see their names in the link in the description below and let them take you fishing. It's very affordable. And when you leave fishing with either one of them, you will have enough crappie. If you ate it every night, it would last you a couple months. And in today's economy with it tanking like it is, dude, a month's worth of fish for a couple hundred dollar fishing charter, that's a win-win. If you want to find ACC crappie sticks, I'll put their link in the description below as well. If you want to follow Jake on Instagram, because he does a lot on there, I'll put his Instagram right here. And then I'll put my Instagram right here as well, because I do a lot on Instagram. So that's it. You just saw a full gear rundown. That's it, though, for this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. But like Jake always says, I'm getting the heck out of shape.